basically from my prospect what my plan was to work in it industry which pays around 3 to 4 lpa for a year then go for masters for 2 years and then get placed from there but then i got introduced to aqr job and now i feel like i don't have to go for masters because i got placed at a very good package it is definitely advisable to join aqr job and once you join aqr job like for 5 to 6 months just focus on the boot camp Hey everyone, welcome to Acu Jobs YouTube channel. My name is Priyanshi Singh, and today we have a very amazing guest with us named Jay Patel. So Jay completed his graduation in 2022 from Nimba University, and he is now placed in Lowe's at a package of 11 plus LPA. So let's welcome Jay and get to know more about his journey. Uh, hi Jay. Hey Priyanshi, thank you for the introduction. You're most welcome. Uh, how are you, Jay? Uh, I am doing good. First of all, congratulations on getting placed. Thank you so much. So Jay, uh, tell us something about your background. Uh, so hey everyone my name is Shah Patel uh, so i am from ahmedabad i did my schooling from here itself uh, i have done my bachelor's in electrical engineering from rimon university uh, the reason that i chose electrical was because like the other option was to go into it and i was afraid of coding at that time so it was one of my reasons to choose electrical engineering. so uh, jay how did you come across aqr job you know why did you decide to join aqr job Uh, so basically, uh, in my six times summer break, I did an internship in electrical engineering. Uh, during that, I realized that I don't want to pursue field work. Basically, at that time, I thought that yes, I want to move towards IT because it seems more interesting compared to field work. Uh, hence, it was the time where I decided to move uh, towards IT. Uh, so basically, I asked one of my seniors for his advice. He got placed at a very good package. He was also from electrical engineering, and he introduced me to the Ikea job. So he was also alumni of Ikea job. So it was through him that I got introduced to Ikea job. So you know, you have almost completed our course now. So how did you like our course structure? You know, the whole course structure and the curriculum that we provide. How helpful was that for you? How did you like it? so course structure was well designed so it it was divided in basically three parts dsa front end and back end once we complete the dsa uh, we move towards front end also the course was more of a project project oriented uh, so basically what i have realized from my experience is that in order to get, get placed at a good company uh, what you need is a good dsa skills and projects uh, to differentiate from others and uh, the course curriculum was more project oriented and hence uh, there were lot of projects that were covered in the curriculum so it was the best part of all so now tell us something about your you know mentors and the instructors how were your mentors instructors and the batch managers you know how supportive were they how did they help you uh, for example i would say that uh, it was because of the instructor i could develop my interest in dsa and uh, they were very good in that dsa they were passionate about dsa and you could see that passion in that teaching so the method that instructor used to teach dsa was very unique uh, so it was more of a practice oriented approach uh, so what they used to do is they uh, teach theory for 15 to 20 minutes in order to understand a uh, basic data structure or algorithm and then there are around 4 to 5 questions which we used to solve in class apart from that there were assignments which were given on the aqr job portal at another 4 to 5 question so for me in order to conduct in order to uh, understand basics of uh, dsa the lectures and the questions assignments which are given on aqr job portal were enough and also like my batch manager was great uh, so basically i actually from the start i aimed for 10 plus i i remember that i had around four meet four personal meetings with my batch manager uh, where they pushed me very hard to work on projects like they have told me same thing again again and again for the fourth time and after the fourth time i actually did one of the good projects and which helped me to get selected at lose you must have sat for the placement drive right so how was the whole uh, placement drive experience and the process for you the best part of the placement drive was that we could sit in as many companies as we want so after dsa got completed company started coming and in every month there were around 15 to 20s company so i used to sit only on the companies which offer about an lpa uh, so basically i got a chance to actually sit in uh, four of the companies uh, interviews obviously like i did not got selected for the first few interviews but it was the feedback that which i got from those interviews so now that you are placed in lowes tell us about their placement process you know uh their interview process what kind of questions did they ask you during the placement process and you know how was that experience for you uh, so basically the first round uh, was online round where there were questions on coding 
and uh, basic MCQ aptitude questions. To clear those questions, were given chance to appear for the interview. There was uh, only one interview for the technical round. In technical round, as like most of the IT companies asked, it started with a DSA, and they actually asked me around two to three days of questions. Uh, which took around uh, 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, afterwards, they asked me uh, concepts of OOPs, so basically theoretical concepts of OOP, uh, which was covered in the course. And it ended with the discussion on my project. Afterwards, there was the HR round. You know, you, when you join the course, there comes a time when you have to sit for mocks, right? Mock HR interviews, mock technical interviews and so on. So uh, many of our students are still hesitant about taking these mocks. So how would you say that these mocks help you? Uh, so I'm basically from vernacular medium, uh, so I was not so sure of my introduction. Uh, so when I sat for the first mock, in mock HR interview, I actually did not know what to say. Actually. I like I just said what I could come up with in, at that time. So then they gave some feedback. Afterwards, I had a second mock interview, which went better. After that, I got third mock interview, which was like perfect. Also, there were technical mock uh, based on DSA. It was great. Uh, there were different mocks which we were required to give on all three parts and we could give as many mocks as possible un until we are you know confident enough that yeah we know this part quite well as you know many of our students will watch your videos you know many of our prospective students, students who are thinking of joining our job or have just started in the new batch so what advice would you like to give to our prospective students basically from my prospect what my plan was to work in it industry which pays around three to four lpa for a year then go for masters for two years and then get placed from that. But then I got introduced to a your job and now I feel like I don't have to go for masters because I got placed at a very good package. It is definitely advisable to join a your job. And once you join a your job, like for five to six months, just focus on the bootcamp. When you are doing DSA, don't focus on anything else, not projects, not placement, not applying anywhere off campus. Just work on DSA because DSA is very important. And once DSA gets over then work on projects and then company starts coming and simultaneously apply to the company. Coming on to our last question, Jay, if you could describe your whole experience with Thank you Job in like a couple of words or a couple of sentences, what would you say? It was one of the best decisions in my life that I joined AQ Job because I don't have to pursue masters now. Uh, so for me, bootcamps is equivalent to masters because it teaches you only what, what is required for the placement. Thank you, Jay, for your you know kind words. It means a lot. And you know, I'm so glad that you had such a great experience with us. Uh, and you are our alumni, so you can, you know, contact us anytime you want to. And once again, congratulations on getting praise. So I wish you all the best for your future. Thanks a lot. Glad to be here. Thank you everyone for watching this interview with Jay. I hope you liked it. Do like and share it with your friends. And write in the comment section below what kind of videos do you want us to post. And subscribe to our channel. Uh, to join Accio Jobs next batch, register now and get started. The link is in the description below. Keep learning and have a great day.